Hi, I'm going to show you how to use Euclidean distance to find the closest ideal match based on some car data using Python, and we're going to be porting that over into Power BI. So you can see from uh, the data on the screen, we have discover your dream car, finding similar car types using Euclidean distance. So as you see here, we have 397 models in our data set. Our ideal features would be an acceleration of 10, horsepower of 100, model year of 80, and an MPG of 20. Obviously, these are not going to match exactly, so we create a distance metric with Euclidean distance to see how far away each one of these models are from these ideal features. And then we can create a filter so we can slide up and down to see how far that distance is away. Now, the smallest distance away is 4.47. That's the Euclidean distance. So our ideal model would be a Mazda RX-7 GS, which has an acceleration of 12, MPG of 23, model year of 80, cylinders of 3, and a horsepower of 100. So we can continually add different features to this ideal feature set, but all I wanted was acceleration, horsepower, model year, and MPH. So these will match that particular information. So it brings back all of the information, even though we don't have it in our ideal features. So let me just show you if I brought this out a little bit more. We would get 42 models that seem similar. We could definitely truncate those models too by their origin. So if we wanted a Japanese car, we would just click into that and then we would get the 12 closest to a Japanese model, European model and a model from the US. So you can see this is a quite good way to match m aspects of your ideal feature set to a larger data feature set. So let me show you how to calculate this distance and discover some of the data that we have in our data set. So if we just go over and we could do transform data, you can see that I have the original data, which has MPH, cylinders, displacement, horsepower, weight, acceleration, model year, origin, and the name. So we can add other features, but I just brought in the ones that I was familiar with. And then I use some Python code to create this distance metric here to add it back. And you can see that distance metric has been attached to our original data frame as a column. So let's go back up and navigate to running our Python script. So our Python script is we brought in, and we actually don't need Seaborn, we brought in pandas as PD. We, and then from scipy.spatial.distance, we imported the Euclidean distance. And this is the distance metric we're using to see how far it's away from our ideal data set match features. I filled in uh, the data set. So when you bring in your Python script, it's going to be saved as data set. I like to have a shorter variable, so I called it data, so I renamed it and filled any missing values with zero. And then I made a copy of this just in case. Then the features I isolated in a variable called features, and that was MPH, horsepower, acceleration, and the model year. I then passed these features to our original data using bracket notation. So because we only want to compare this to the columns that we have in this data set also. So my ideals were, I created a dictionary, miles per gallon, 20, horsepower, 100, acceleration, 10, and model year, 80. Then once I did that, I created a new table or data frame, 
based on this ideal dictionary. I created an empty list so I can add my values in there. So now we need to go through each and every model. So we can do that through a loop. So I loop through all of the different models using the length of the data set that we have, which had 398 models or so. Then I created a distance variable using that Euclidean distance function. And I just looped through each one of the models and compared them to the ideal features. We were giving a distance metric, and that distance metric was appended to these empty lists. After I just added this empty column and, <clears throat> and filled it with our distances. And then I just made an extra one just in case. So that is our data set. Once we have that data set, what we're giving is these three tables. So you can see that ideal is there also. And we have data and data two. I brought in the data two as my copy. And then in this one, I made a copy and ran the same script and just gave the ideal so I could show you what the ideal was. So now that we have that, we have our easy to use distance metric that we can attach and we can easily get similarity matching based on Euclidean distance for our car data set. I hope you found that useful. We can also bring in categorical variables. It would take an uh, extra step that will allow us to encode those categoricals into specific numbers, but I can definitely show you how to do that using the same code, just a few extra steps. I hope that helps. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.